Boris Johnson issued Brexit trade deal warning as UK left at disadvantage, astonishing. Boris Johnson's post-Brexit trade deal with the EU has left the UK at a huge disadvantage, with the bloc enjoying a massive trade surplus over Britain, an expert has warned. Professor David Blake has said with Brexit now in the rearview mirror, it was therefore imperative for the government to keep up the pressure when it comes to securing a good deal for financial services. With much of the focus of UK negotiator Lord David Frost and EU opposite number Michel Barnier centering on the so-called level playing field, identifying a method of dispute resolution acceptable to both sides, and fishing access, a deal on financial services has yet to be struck. Professor Blake, Professor of Economics at City, University of London, said in order to redress the balance, it was important for the UK to negotiate a system guaranteeing its pre-Brexit access to the EU. In order to achieve this though, Brussels will need to be persuaded to grant what is known as regulatory equivalence, but will only do so if sufficiently convinced that the UK will stay closely aligned to its rules when it comes to financial services. Professor Blake told Express.co.uk, the UK-EU agreement has baked in the EU's, and especially Germany's, trade surplus with the UK. Giving tariff-free and quota-free access to the UK's single market, when combined with the undervalued euro, is far more beneficial to the EU than giving the UK tariff-free and quota-free access to the EU's single market. He explained, this is because the EU sells mainly high-value goods, which would otherwise attract a high tariff, to us and we sell mostly low-value, and otherwise low-tariff, goods to the EU. A recent study published by the Civitas think tank indicated that without the trade deal unveiled by Mr Johnson on Christmas Eve, UK exporters to the EU would have faced £5 billion in tariffs on goods sold to the EU, but EU exporters to the UK would have had to pay £13 billion in tariffs on goods entering the UK. Professor Blake added, German exporters, mostly in cars, alone would have to pay £3.4 billion in tariffs, whereas UK exporters to Germany would face only £0.9 billion in tariffs. No wonder Angela Merkel was under such pressure from her car manufacturers to agree a deal. What is astonishing is that, knowing this, our negotiators did not extract any deal on services where we have a comparative advantage and a substantial £20 billion trade surplus with the EU.